Tonight, we have the marquee matchup of the week in Region 4. It's the matchup we have all been waiting for, we have all been talking about. You know the names, you know the teams. It's 3-0 Sky Ridge, it's 4-0 Sky Ridge, it's 3-0 Pleasant Grove, battling for outright first place here in Region 4. And we couldn't be more excited for this one tonight. Alongside my broadcast partner, Colton Potter, I'm Alexander Tumalip. Colton, I've been texting you about this since Friday. Pleasant Grove, Sky Ridge, it's finally time to get it on. Yeah, it's gonna be a great game between two great teams. Uh, uh, Pleasant Grove, they, uh, you know, they're coming off a big win. Um, the atmosphere here is incredible. Both uh, Pleasant Grove and, and uh, Sky Ridge have giant student sections. Uh, it's gonna be a fun game, I'm really excited. Now let's get to the stats. Now let's get to the clear part here first. Sky Ridge coming off a very dominant win against Corner Canyon on Friday. Nick Holland and Bryson Bailey, as you would expect, leading the way. But tonight, the Falcons coming on a six game winning streak. We talked to Jeff Gardner before the game. He said this may in fact be the toughest game they will play to this point in the season so far. Yeah, and he also said that McCaden Adams might be the best player that they've played so far this year. And so they're really looking to, to slow him down on offense. Uh, and, and he talked about getting back on defense, limiting their uh, Pleasant Grove's points in transition. And uh, a big key for them is to dominate the boards. They feel like they have an advantage there, both on the defense and offensive end. And they look to take advantage of it. Sky Ridge with a win will go to 5-0, and and they will be one and a half games clear of Pleasant Grove for now. With a loss, they will fall a half game behind PG for first place. On the other side for PG, speaking of the Vikings, they're coming off a 59-56 victory over Westlake on Friday. And you just touched on it, Colton. McCaden Adams, the top scorer in the entire class, 21.6 points a game. By far, the toughest test that Sky Ridge will have tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but a big key for them is going to be on the boards. Uh, they, they really got to keep Bryce and Bailey specifically off the offensive boards. Uh, I think a, a big key for them in this game is, is Isaac Garrett. If he has a good game re rebounding the ball, it's really going to help Pleasant Grove uh, have a better chance of winning this game. The Vikings come in on a three-game winning streak, all in region play. Pleasant Grove has won three of their four games in 2022. Sky Ridge remains undefeated. It has remained undefeated in 2022 to this point. But Golden, throw the records, throw the stats, throw the talk all out the window. It's time to play. The students are ready. We are ready. We hope you all at home are ready too. Sky Ridge, Pleasant Grove, we're underway. Game clock is unofficial, as we will know throughout the night. We'll try to keep it updated as best we can. Bailey to Holland out front. Holland takes the three. Yeah, Pleasant Grove can't lose Nick Holland. They just can't lose him. Um, he's a great shooter. He's a great passer. He gets in the paint well. They, they have to stop him if they want to win this game. Lob on the block, and there is Isaac Garrett off the lob. And you just touched on it, Colton. Not only has he have, does he have to have a good game rebounding, I think he may actually be leaned on for scoring as well. Yeah, absolutely. They have to be able to, to control the paint. Uh, they're outsized a little bit, but if they can control the paint, that, that would go a huge way in this game. Here's Holland driving down to the post, kicks it out to Davis. And he'll reset from out front. Holland drives down into the paint, kicks it out. Snowdy wide open for three. Two for two for Sky Ridge on threes. And it's 6-2 early on. That was an incredible pass by Holland as he drove baseline. He's fourth in the state with averaging 6.7 assists a game. He already has one. Here is McCain Adams on the block. Blocked by Davis. Reset though to Garrett. Drives against Bailey, jump stop, hook in the lane. Six to four. That's a good start for Garrett. I think I think he, he if he 
if he plays like this throughout the game, Pleasant Grove is going to be all right. Adams will get it going and he, he just have to keep keep uh, Skyridge off the boards. Nick Hallett misses the three and the rebound to Tanner Hanks. Bailey hits the floor. They might have numbers. Hanks to Adams. Wide open three-pointer. Yes! There's the first basket of the game for McCain Adams. What a start here in this one. Seven to six. Both teams coming out shooting the ball well. Uh, this is going to be a fun one. Fast pace. Both teams come out playing well so far. Here's Josh Davis. Nick Holland. Drives into the paint. Looking, kicks it out. Davis thought about the shot. Couldn't take it. Doubled in the corner. Kicks it out. Carter, another three-pointer. And Hanks with the rebound off the air ball. Thought he missed Bailey. I thought Bailey had a, had a look. He didn't see him. Settled for the contested three. Hanks out front. Evan Anderson tries a three. His shot too strong. Bailey goes up and gets the rebound. Nick Holland charging up with it the other way. Crossover behind the back of the other three. Yes! Wow, what a, what a move by Holland. Oh my goodness. What a start, nine to seven. As Holland just put the defender on skates. And Colton, the more remarkable thing is, we haven't had a stoppage yet. No, it's been really good basketball so far. No fouls, no turnovers, just really clean basketball by both teams. That last basket was made there by Michael Mitten. And we're tied in nine here with four and a half left in the first. Holland again. He's feeling it. He's got the hot hand right now. Let's see if they if Skyridge keeps going to him. Garrett can't answer. Carter the rebound. Holland wants it. Holland gets it. Here he comes up the floor. Nick Holland pull up for three. Left it short. Bit of a heat check there, eh, Colton? Yeah, it, it was. But I still think that uh, Pleasant Grove's got to pick him up earlier in transition. You don't want him walking into threes like that. And speaking of three, there's McCain Adams on the other end. It's 12 to 12. <laughs> and we still have not had a stoppage. <laughs> Remarkable. <laughs> Bailey matched up out front against Anderson. Doubled, stolen by Mitten. Here comes McCain Adams. That was a mistake by Bailey. He got, he got a little lazy with the ball, lost sight of where Adams was, who made a great defensive play. Good outlet pass, and you saw the finish. Bailey again, matched up there against Garrett. Now back out, here's Snowdy. Jeff Gardner trying to call out a play, trying to reset the tempo here. Bailey gets the lob, cannot finish, and finally a foul is called. Two minutes 55 left here in the first quarter. That was a great pass by Holland. Uh, a late call by the official, but I think it was the right one. I think Garrett got him with the body, and uh, Bailey will go to the line to shoot two free throws. You know, Colton, we, we should touch on this, that speaking of threes in transition, as Bailey misses the first, Jeff Gardner said pretty much what we were thinking. They have to get back in transition. They have to defend because they know this Pleasant Grove team can get up, the, get up and down the floor and score. Yeah, absolutely. Both teams like to push the ball and get up and down and score. And so uh, transition's going to be a huge key in this game, especially turnovers, live ball turnovers that led to the Adams dunk. Those are a killer. You can't have live ball turnovers. Game clock in here reached 2.46, so we're going to try to reset the score clock here on our next possession or dead ball. What an active start. 14-13 in favor of Pleasant Grove. <laughs> McCain Adams crossover, pull up from 15. You just, if you leave him one-on-one, -on -one, it's going to be tough to stop him. Um, uh, it's just an incredible move and a great shot by Adams. Colin Sheffield, by the way, has checked in as that pass is deflected into the backcourt. And uh, Carter will let it go out of bounds. 
with 2.11 exactly left on our clock. So our clocks are in sync now. Clock is running, 2.06 left to go here in the first quarter. 16-13 in favor of Skyridge. Lob on the block, Colby Carter inside. That's a great pass, great seal. That's a great seal there by Carter who just was able to catch it and, and lay it right in. Isaac Brockbank getting set to check in for the first time for the Falcons. Here's Tanner Hanks. Adams again against Sheffield, turns up and under, bench shot, up and in. They just have no an answer for Adams right now. He, I think he has 12 of their 18 points. I don't think he's missed a shot. And Nick Holland, meanwhile, has nine. So the two scores we thought were gonna start scoring are already going out of here, Colton. Yeah, they both came to play. Big game, they both came to play. That pass deflected out of bounds. It'll go back to PG. One sixteen left to go here in the first quarter. Again, our clock on the scorebook is unofficial. We're gonna start it as soon as it hits one twelve here in the arena. Hanks out front against Colby Carter. Back out to McCain Adams, tries it again. He's feeling it right now, Colton. Yeah, they, they did a good job initially. That was a backdoor play. Uh, they sniffed it out, but he's just on fire. He's not missing right now, and he knocks down a triple. 15, I think by your count, already here in the first quarter. Nick Holland has nine to lead to lead the Falcons here so far, who have cooled off after that hot start. 37 left here in the quarter, and they will hold for the final possession. And uh, as you can see, uh, Pleasant Grove's in a 2-3 zone. Coach Gardner talked to us before the game about uh, th that they might see more zone this game than they're used to, so that we talked about how important it was that they execute specifically against the zone uh, to make sure that they get out of the zone. Of course, the Pleasant Grove student section not liking it. But this is how it's gonna be till next year. With eight, with seven, Snowdy back to Carter, double in the corner, can he get it all? Cross court, Holland puts up the left-handed three, banks no good, and that's the end of an active, hold your breath up and down first quarter. Wow. Yeah, and Pleasant Grove really did control, uh, especially the, the last half of that quarter. Forced more turnovers, they, they, Nick Holland kind of got whatever he wanted the first half of the first quarter. They took the, took the ball out of his hands when he passed it. They didn't let him get it back. And uh, and as you can see, McCaden Adams, he's a player. He definitely is. What a start to the game. We hope this keeps up throughout. The score at the end of one is 21-15 in favor of Pleasant Grove. You're watching Sky Ridge Basketball on Game Night Live Rewind. We'll be back after this message from WGU. College wasn't built for me. It didn't care if I had to work a double shift. Test day's test day, deadline's a deadline. I want to set the deadlines. Tests on your time, courses on your time, graduate on your time. WGU, the nonprofit university of you. Well, the game has lived up to everything we thought it would be so far. Welcome back to Sky Ridge Basketball on Game Night Live Rewind. We remind you that KSL Game Night Live Rewind's coverage of high school sports is presented all season long by WGU, the University of U, online, accredited, and affordable. Alexander Timolip, Colton Potter here at Sky Ridge High School. Well, Colton, we thought this would be a, a, cent, a game where the top two scorers were going to have their say in tonight's game, and they are not disappointing so far. Yeah, so far they combined for, uh, I believe, 24 of the 36 total points in this game, which is which is unbelievable. Uh, both have hit multiple threes. Uh, let's see if uh, what adjustments the coaches make at the end of the first quarter. Back out on the top, down the lane, and the lay-in by Michael Mitten. 23-15 in favor of Pleasant Grove. Yeah, it kind of just opened up for him. as a great drive, great finish. i uh, like to see a little bit better uh, defense there from Sky Ridge. One foul. One stoppage, one foul, three stoppages in that quarter as Holland is called for the offensive foul. What, what a great, great effort play 
by Mason Hunter. He slid over in front of Holland and took a charge. Uh, it was a great move by Holland to get past him, but it just, just took up one dribble too far and uh, picked up the charge. Holland picks up a foul, his first. That's just the second foul we've had in the night's game. And as you said, great job by Hank standing in there and taking the charge. And we're gonna get another foul against Colin Sheffield. And that's gonna be a hand check with about seven minutes, five seconds left here in the quarter. Again, we're trying to keep up with the game clock here in the arena, so apologies if we have to reset it from time to time. And bound comes into Adams. Against Sheffield, drives into the paint. Anderson behind the back. Thought about pulling the trigger, couldn't do it. Garrett against Bailey, spins on the post, turn around shot, no, Bailey the rebound. And here comes Holland. Holland lead toss ahead, Carter up, blocked by Hanks. Now they cut on numbers the other way of the Vikings. Adam zero step, struck there by Holland. Now we're coming back the other way. Sheffield is a two on one if he sees the man coming and a blocking foul is called against Tanner Hanks. That was two incredible defensive plays, first by Hanks and then by Holland to take away layups uh, for the other team. And then just a, a great pass by Holland up in transition uh, to, to lead to some free throws. There have been very few stoppages here in this first half, Colton. My goodness. I mean, we have just been going up and down, back and forth. As Colin Sheffield will step to the line. First shot is no good. And if you didn't see that it says Sky Ridge on the, on the court here, you wouldn't know who the home team is. Pleasant Grove fans really, uh, really traveled well, and uh, the student section's right behind Sky Ridge's basket, and I think affected those free throws there. Yeah, Randy McAllister talked to us about that right during the pregame. He said their students have traveled really well to games throughout the season. Underneath, Garrett can't finish it, goes back up and fouled there by Davis. That yeah, was a great pass uh, to get Garrett an open look at the layup there. You'd like him to finish the first one, but really good effort to stick with it, and he's, he's rewarded with two free throws. 6-14 to go here in the first half. 23-15 in favor of Pleasant Grove, and now Garrett adds another one to the total. Garrett puts in the second. And this is a 10-point lead now for Pleasant Grove. A 9-0 scoring run by the Vikings. Yeah, Sky Ridge has uh, been a little lost on offense. They haven't had very many good looks the last couple minutes. Let's see if Holland can get into the paint and get something going for him. Right on cue, there you go, but he couldn't control the dribble. Here is Holland again, drives into the paint, floater, left it short, goes up for the rebound, trying to tip it up there. Still loose on the floor, Davis shoveling at it, Holland comes out of the dust cloud, they're with it. And he's doubled on the perimeter and finally he is fouled. Five thirty-nine left here in the first cool, here in the first half. It's a great effort by both uh, Holland and Davis to, to just never give up on that ball. Uh, steal another possession uh, for Sky Ridge. 5.39 is what the score clock reads right now. We're trying to get it fixed. There's about a six second delay between our clock and the arena clock. Here's Carter, pass stolen away. Two on one, here's Hanks. And a kick ball is called against Sky Ridge. And Sky Ridge is really look lucky there. That's another live ball turnover. A two-on-one uh, fast break there that could have led to a layup. A good play by Holland to, to stop uh, the transition break there. A 10-point lead for Pleasant Grove with, six with 5.24 left here in the first half of play. Hanks guarded by Carter. Into the post. And it looks like Garrett stepped on the baseline. 
That's unfortunate. That was a great move. A, a, a little head fake got Bailey up in the air just enough to get by him. He just got, has to know where he is on the court. Uh, great move, though, and I like the aggressiveness from Garrett. Skyridge hasn't scored in well over four minutes. And you said it, Colton. They're looking a little lost on offense right now. They need some answers. Here's Bailey all the way into the basket. There's an answer. That was a great slip by Bailey. Uh, the defender overcommitted and, and, and allowed him to get a, a, a nice lane to the basket. That's the first Skyridge bucket in almost five minutes, but a very important one at that for Jeff Gardner's team. 4.40 to go here in the second quarter. Snowdy wasn't paying attention, and he's glad that Holland was there to bail him out. It has been a very uncharacteristic, sloppy beginning here for the Falcons. Holland now doubled on the perimeter, and a timeout is called. Yeah, Sky, Skyridge just couldn't get into the offensive set that uh, Coach Gardner wanted to call the timeout, see if they can uh, regroup and uh, come out with uh, a good offensive set. 4.22 to go. It's a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it here on the air. Well, Colton, if I am being honest here, Skyridge, you know, Jeff Gardner talked to us about this before the game. He said how they're going to need to execute on offense, and they haven't really found many answers here through the last few minutes for that defense. Yeah, to start the game, it was a lot of just uh, Nick Holland just being left open. Um, maybe some defensive mistakes by Pleasant Grove more so than offensive execution by Skyridge. Let's see if they can, like, kind of weather the storm at the start of the second quarter, regroup, and get some good looks. Holland will take it out front. 4.15 to go here in the first here in the first half. And you see Coach McAllister came out with a 1-3-1 zone out of the timeout. I'm assuming that uh, that was not what Skyridge talked about in the timeout. Randy McAllister in his 20th year at Pleasant Grove. He's seen a lot of good things come of this program. Here's Holland into the paint and he's fouled. The 14 foul called on Pleasant Grove. Not really in danger of getting in the bonus yet, but that was just a lazy defensive play by Garrett. He was in really good position and just stopped moving his feet and, and reached. He says if he just keeps moving his feet, he's able to slide off and cut him off from the going to the basket. Riker Mickelson has just checked in for Pleasant Grove, number 15. He replaces Isaac Garrett. 3.45 to go and counting here in the first half. Now it looks like they're back in that 2-3 zone there. Bailey finds himself open, gets inside, and rolls in. Yeah, he hesitated at first, but the, as he kind of made a little pass fake, the, the defense sagged off him, and he was able to attack right into the heart of that 2-3 zone and get a nice nice finish at the, at the rim. Here's Evan Anderson against Nick Holland. Anderson drives inside, up and under, yes! Twenty-seven, nineteen, in favor of Pleasant Grove. And just like that, they're back to man-to-man. -to -man. They're mixing it up on Skyridge, not letting them get into a rhythm offensively. Bailey inside, jump hook, and Randy McAllister answers with a timeout, with two fifty-five left to go here in this first half. Bailey starting to find a rhythm there at six straight points that he scored for Skyridge. It's a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it here. And to your point, Colton, we talked about that with Jeff, with uh, Randy McAllister before the game, that they are going to need to keep Bryson Bailey out of the paint. He's really long and athletic, and clearly uh, taking advantage of that zone. They're taking advantage of the mismatches down low are the Falcons. Yeah, absolutely. Like you said, he's really long. He's 6'9", athletic. And uh, I think he finally just said enough is enough. When he gets the ball, he's just attacking the paint and, and just finishing above everyone else. 2.55 left to go here in the second quarter. 27-21 is our score. The largest lead by Pleasant Grove has been 10. Largest lead by Skyridge has been five.
the last three minutes of the of the half here are really big for Sky Ridge to see if they can uh, keep it close uh, and cut the deficit before halftime. That was the way to do it right there with a turnover as Carter got his hand in there. And now Gardner will call out the play. Nick Holland has not scored in almost four minutes of game time. He could use one right now. Holland crossover, gets to the paint, inside, Bryson Bailey! Wow, what a pass. That's an incredible move by Holland to draw the second defender. Really good cut by Bailey and, and a great pass and great finish. It is back down to four. An 8-2 run by Skyridge. McCain Adams with it, spin move, off the glass, and finishes! And we are going to get... Delay a game warning. Yeah, delay a game warning, you're right. You're on it, Colton. And just when it felt like Skyridge was starting to get some momentum, what does Ple Pleasant Grove do? They go back to McCain Adams, and he just has an incredible individual move to get a nice layup. Two minutes to go, 29-23 in favor of, of Skyridge. Or rather, of Pleasant Grove, excuse me. In the corner, Colby Carter on the baseline. Gets to the paint, can't finish the bunny. And Adams gets the board. And Adams is fouled to stop the fast break there by Kenyon Snowdy with a minute 47 to go here in the first half. It's a great boom by Carter and a, a really good job of avoiding the defender who uh, was set up to take a charge. He just got to finish that. He's right there. I know he's probably kicking himself, but I'm sure next time he'll finish it. Clock running with a minute 42 to go. Again, we're going to try to keep our clock as updated as we can. There's about a five second delay between our clock and the clock in here in the arena. Here's Michael Mitten, matched up against Bryson Bailey. Out it goes, Mickelson three, too strong. Bailey up strong for the rebound. And here comes Nick Holland. Holland in the corner, Snowdy back out. Bailey pops out to the top, here he is. Draws the double, Snowdy behind the screen. Leaves it short on the three and it rat attached to the arms of Mickelson. 58 seconds and counting, here's Anderson, another three. Too strong, tipped out, grabbed there by Hanks. And here is McCain Adams. That's a killer offensive rebound uh, there for Sky Ridge. They, Pleasant Grove took a quick, sh quick shot. Now McCain Adams with the and one. How about that? Getting around Bryson Bailey, counted plus the foul with 37 and seven left to go here in the first half. It's a once again an eight point lead here for Pleasant Grove. McCain Adams averages 20, over 21 points a game. And uh, with that free throw, I believe he's at 20 points already. It's not even halftime. That is ridiculous. He's, he's really been feeling it this first half. Nick Holland still has nine, but he does have four assists. And this will be the last possession of a first half that has seen it all. Jeff Gardner calling out the play. Here's Sheffield with eight, with seven. Here's Nick Holland, dribbles, left hand at floater. Left it short, Hanks will just heave it down the floor. And that, I believe, now hold on a minute. I think we're gonna have more time back out on here, Colton, because that ball touched the bench, it looked like. No, they're not, they're, are they not? I guess they're not. Uh, I think at most it was maybe a couple tens of a second. Uh, it's a great defensive uh, stand there at the end to get another stop for Pleasant Grove. Uh, fun first half, Pleasant Grove leads by nine at halftime. Welcome back to Sky Ridge High School here in Lehigh, Utah. It's halftime, Pleasant Grove leads Sky Ridge 32-23. This is KSL Game Night Live Rewind's coverage of high school sports. And this is Sky Ridge Basketball on Game Night Live Rewind. And we're back here for what we think is gonna be an exciting second half with my broadcast partner, Colton Potter. I'm Alexander Timolip. Colton, it was about what we expected it was going to be in the first half. High scoring up and down the floor, but Pleasant Grove defensively did pretty good in keeping Skyridge off the three-point line. Yeah, they, they uh, gave up some threes really quick at the beginning of the game, but did a really good job of running them off the line the rest of the half. 
I think the key for Sky Ridge in the second half is going to be to get Bryson Bailey going. He scored six of their last eight points uh, to end the half. And I think he has a distinct advantage on the inside. And let's see if Nick Holland can get him the ball uh, in play in uh, opportunities for him to score. Now, uh, to your point, Colton, this was part of the keys of the game we were looking at. Just as Pleasant Grove has great shooters offensively, Skyridge has to match that. But the key was going to be could they efficiently get shots off from inside and outside the three point line? After the first quarter, I think the answer pretty much was no. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, there was a lot of confusion, uh, partly due to Pleasant Grove switching up defensive uh, schemes. We saw them in a lot of 2 3 zone, man to man, even mixed in a 1 3 1. Uh, let's see if Skyridge can just come out, keep their composure, run their offense through Nick Holland and Bryson Bailey, and have the rest of the guys on the team step up and be ready to shoot when their number's called. Well, here we go. Skyridge will have the ball first in the second half as we're underway. Same five as earlier and Pleasant Grove right back in that 2-3 zone. Check out Carter, open look for three. Blocked there by Michael Minton. Here comes Minton the other way against Carter. And they'll slow it up out front. Back to Minton, wide open for three. Way off. Punched up in the air and the rebound is taken there by Davis. Well, both teams starting out getting decent looks. Uh, great play by Minton to get a block. Let's see what Sky Ridge does here as, as uh, Pleasant Grove switches back into man-to-man. -man. Here's Holland off the screen, behind the back against Minton. Has the left shoulder open, decides not to take it. Trapped out on the block, great pass though to Snowdy. Even better pass to Bailey. What a passing sequence there from Sky Ridge. Pleasant Grove had Holland dead to rights. He was able to find a, a cutter who found Bailey with a nice finish with the reverse. Bailey now has 10 points, 32-25, Pleasant Grove. Mitten into the paint, count it, and the contact! Great start to the half for Mitten. Had a nice uh, block shot on, on Skyridge's first possession. Missed a three, but uh, answered with a great drive, and it gets, the, gets rewarded with the and one. 6.51 to go here in the third. Mitten free throw is good. And it's back to a 10 point game. Jeff Gardner signaling it out from out front. Carter in the paint against Adams. Turn around, finds himself alone and scores. That was a nice flop there that left him uh, wide open for a nice short little jumper. <laughs> I don't know if you're allowed to say that, but it looked like a flop to me. Great cut to the basket and Hanks lays it in. Here comes Nick Holland. He only has nine so far. Holland gets to the paint inside, checks it out. Carter for open look, three-pointer. Zip! That's big. Others, The others for uh, Skyridge are going to have to continue to hit shots if they want to get cut this deficit. Another Here comes Carter. Play. Here comes Carter with the steal, the layup, and the finish. And it's back to a five point game. Five quick points for Colby Carter, Colton. Yeah, and he even had the, the nice little five foot jumper before that. He scored seven straight for Sky Ridge. And uh, can, kind of feel the momentum start to shift. You got a foul down on the block against Nick Holland. Second called against Nick Holland. Well, uh, Skyridge has Holland matched up on Adams, who has a pretty big size advantage. Uh, let's see, uh, see if they can. Wow, back-to-back -back fouls. And that is really big. That's three fouls on Nick Holland. And Colin Sheffield's going to replace him. And wow, things just got really interesting here, Colton. Yeah, I think Holland. Oh, wait a minute. He's court. not. Wait a minute. He's not going out. Wow, big risk being taken here by Jeff Gardner here, isn't it, Colton? Yeah. Well, uh, we'll see. We'll see what they do to stop McCain Adams in the first half. They didn't have much of an answer for him. Um, it looks like they're just trying to deny him wherever he goes. 
Sheffield has a task of guarding him. Adams into the post, layup, can't finish. Look at Garrett come flying in and finish up the mess. What a play by Garrett. Adams with a great move, missed the layup, but Garrett came flying in, like you said, with a two-hand slam. Carter has scored the last seven here for Sky Ridge. Here's Kenyon Snowdy. Snowdy trying to get away from the screen. Here's Sheffield, back to Holland. Holland is matched up against Adams. Now he's switched on to Hanks. They show the double and back off. Holland says he's going to do it himself. Gets to the paint, underneath, and he is fouled there by Evan Anderson. Really smart play by Holland. They switched the ball screen, and he waved off the other ball screen because he knew he had a mismatch with Garrett. He's just too quick, gets right around him, and draws the foul. The first call there on Evan Anderson. And we just talked about it a few seconds ago here. Nick Holland is still in there with three fouls. How much of a risk is Jeff Gardner taking right now to leave him in? Yeah, I think they have to. Uh, they don't really have a, another ball handler that seems to be super comfortable with the, the defensive pressure from P Pleasant Grove. Holland is a great passer, a great shot maker, shot creator. Um, and I think down by seven, this is a big point in the game to try to cut the deficit. I think they need to leave him in. Well, Holland goes one for two. He's now got 10. And it's a six point game again with 4.35 to go here in the third quarter. If you notice, Holland's no longer uh, matched up on Adams. I think that's probably a smart move. You have a foul for invading the cylinder there on Colin Sheffield, his second. 4.28 on the clock here in the arena. Already the fourth team foul called against Skyridge here in the third. Into the paint, kick out, Adams, why not? Left it short, Bailey cannot grab the rebound, Mickelson does, back to Anderson, he can't hit the three, and Bailey this time does get the board, and he is bashed from the backside. I like the aggressiveness of Garrett, but that's a, it's kind of a silly foul. Uh, Bailey had position on him, already secured the rebound, and he kind of reached through the back, and now he has to go take a seat with uh, his third foul. Pivotal moment in the game. 4-12 to go here in the third. Let's look and see if they go to Bailey inside with Garrett out of the game. Yes, they certainly do have the mismatch. And we'll see if they take advantage of it. And Holland is fouled about 25, 30 feet from the basket. You just called it. Garrett did not commit a smart foul earlier on the loose ball. That was not a smart foul there there's by Michael the, Mitten. Yeah, there's just not really a... It's a high risk, low reward play right there. The odds of getting a steal from Nick Holland in that scenario is just not very good. Risk of getting a foul, as you can see, is pretty high. Bryson Bailey to the basket, and we're in a four point game. That's 12 for Bryson Bailey. You call it, Colton, there you go. I think they should keep going to Bailey as long as uh, Garrett's out of the game. Five seconds, close guard is the call. You don't really see that call very much anymore. 3.22 to go here in the third quarter. We're gonna try to keep the clock as updated as we can. We're having some technical difficulties with it. Here's Holland into the corner, Snowdy on the block. Bailey, again! No! And the rebound to Hanks. That's a good look though, I think they need to keep going to Bailey. Adams, way to be strong, muscles it up and in. And with three minutes to go, Pleasant Grove restores their six point lead. Just like you said, he muscled that one in. It was a really strong finish, he was under control, and kept the ball high and his eyes on the rim and was able to finish. 23 for McCain Adams. Carter can't answer back. Here they come the other way, Mickelson holds out front to Hanks. And now Anderson again, two and a half to go here in the third. Mickelson thought about it, but gives it back to Adams. Here he is again, 225 to go. Mitten, Mickelson, drives on Bailey, and a walk.
Yeah, Mickelson was just uh, out of control there. Tried to make a move. Good defense by Bailey. Lost control and uh, and gets called for the travel. 2-10 to go. Six-point game. And the Vikings look like they're back in that 2-3 zone again. Lob up. Don't know who that was intended for, but Holland didn't, didn't look like he figured out where he was passing it to. Here's Adams. That ball goes flying up in the air. That should be Skyridge ball. Instead, they're going to say it's Pleasant Grove's ball. Yeah, I think, uh, I think that one might have been missed there. Looked like uh, Adams just lost control of the ball as, as he goes to the bench to get a quick breather. Adams will take a seat with 1.47 to go here in the third. 144 left. Out it comes. Garrett steps into the 20-footer. Too strong. Carter up strong for the rebound. Boy, they had no boy, they had numbers going the other way and they missed it. But instead it's Holland. Back to Carter. Back to Holland. Sets his feet for three. No. Bailey offensive rebound. Back up and in. That was a great look for Holland. You kind of almost expected it to go in. It's his first clean look in a long time. Great, great effort by Bailey to get the offensive rebound and the putback. Back to a four point game again. 109 here in the third. Michelson goes up, contested, and muscles it up and in. They just keep trading punches. 43 37, Pleasant Grove. Let's see what happens here in the last, last minute to see who gets the momentum going into the fourth quarter. Holland cannot hit the three. Hanks gets the rebound. 43 and three left here in the third. 36 seconds and counting. Anderson doubled. Gets it. Mickelson inside. It's kind of a, a risk there by Coach Gardner to call for the double team. A great pass fake by Mickelson. He scores four straight off of nice layups. 45-37. And this will be the last possession of the third. Holland behind the screen. Kicks it. Corner. Corner for three. No. Three seconds. Two seconds. Here comes Anderson. And he's not going to get it off. That would not have counted before the buzzer. And that will take us to the fourth quarter. And... Wow, what a fourth quarter we're set up for here, Colton. Yeah, absolutely. Honestly, it felt like the Sky Ridge outplayed Pleasant Grove in that quarter, but a couple of mistakes defensively, a couple of missed shots at the end of the quarter, and, and Pleasant Grove gets the lead back to almost what it was at halftime. Folks, we're set up for a great fourth quarter. We hope you'll stick around with us for it. Pleasant Grove leads by eight at the end of three. You're watching Sky Ridge Basketball Game Night Live Rewind. Jake said these are awesome for studying. Line, you shouldn't ever take someone else's medication. Know your script. Talk to your kids about the dangers of sharing prescriptions. Well, folks, grab your snacks, grab your drinks, settle on in and buckle up tight for what's going to be an epic fourth quarter between Pleasant Grove and Sky Ridge with my broadcast partner, Colton Potter. I'm Alexander Tumalip. Colton, it's been everything we've asked for, and now it's going to come down to the final eight minutes just like we thought it would. Yeah, let's see if Sky Ridge, uh, the first couple minutes of this quarter will be huge for Sky Ridge. They've got to get stops, got to get buckets, cut the deficit, make it more manageable, uh, and try to make a run at the end of the quarter. Mickelson out front, into the post, Adams doubled up, kicks it back out, Hanks goes into the paint and throws it down! What a move, that was incredible! He rose up, challenged the defender and said, you're too small! Back to Carter, couldn't pull the trigger. 
And Holland will reset. A 10-point lead here for Pleasant Grove again. This match is their largest lead of the night. Snowdy back to Carter. Back to Snowdy again in the corner. Brock Bank. Bailey gets it taken away. Here comes Mitten, kicks it out. Mickelson thought about the three, drives in, all the way in and scores! Timeout called by Pleasant, timeout called by Skyridge. Yeah, this is now their largest lead of the night. Yeah, a great timeout there by Coach Gardner, really needed it. Uh, man, Pleasant Grove really just came out and just said, yeah, we want this more. Let's see how Skyridge responds. Got to take care of the ball, got to hit shots. The largest lead of the night for Pleasant Grove. We'll be back in just a moment after this word from WGU. College wasn't built for me. It didn't care if I had to work a double shift. Test day's test day, deadline's a deadline. I want to set the deadlines. Tests on your time, courses on your time, graduate on your time. WGU, the nonprofit university of you. As a reminder, KSL Game Night Live Rewind's coverage of high school sports is brought to you all season long by WGU. You can make 2022 the year of you by applying for a $2,500 scholarship that can make getting your degree more affordable. And this year of you scholarship is only available when you apply online at WGU.edu. Now you can study on your own time with WGU online, accredited and affordable. 6.58 to go in the fourth quarter. As we just saw, probably one of the best plays we'll see tonight as Michael Mitten just went up and challenged Bryson Bailey. And this just got a whole lot more interesting with 6.53 to go. Yeah, that was a great play, kind of swung the momentum. Uh, let's see if Holland and uh, Bailey can kind of take over for Skyridge here down the stretch. This is the largest deficit Skyridge has faced tonight. They have 640 left to chip into this deficit. Holland into the paint. And his pass deflected and stolen away. Here comes Hanks. And he dribbles it off his foot. And finally, Snowdy is fouled. Big missed opportunity there for Pleasant Grove. Yeah, you're right about that. Uh, Holland took it a little too far, tried to do a little too much, and then Hanks just lost control when they had numbers. Back to that man-to-man -man again. Carter picks up the dribble 25 feet out. Looking for help. Almost lobbed it almost into the backcourt, but Holland able to save him. And now he's on Adams. The two top scorers matched up against each other. Now he gets a switch. Into the paint. Nick Holland. Up and under move. Can't finish. It's and the rebound move. by Garrett. That was a great move by Holland. That pass went out of bounds as the alley-oop could not be completed. 5.50 to go here in the fourth. A 12-point lead for Pleasant Grove. Really at this point, up 12, a little over five minutes to go. Pleasant Grove should have this game under control. The way that they let uh, Skyridge get back in is leaving open shooters and turning the ball over. They left an open shooter there. Colby Carter makes it a nine-point game again. Evan Anderson set to check back in. I like this at Pleasant Grove. Slow it down. They kind of had a couple turnovers back to back, just rushing things. They're up by nine. And let's see if Skyridge will oblige and start pressing here. As Nick Holland will come out and a timeout is called with 5.02 left to go here in the fourth. It is a 30 second timeout, so we'll keep it on the air. Well, Colton, I'm curious as to what uh, Coach Randy McAllister is gonna think about here up by nine with five minutes to go. I'm sure he's telling them, take care of the ball. We don't need to rush shots, rush things. There's no shot clock. So just get good looks, take care of the ball. And on the other end, don't give up it. Wide open three-pointers and no offensive rebounds. Now on the other side for Jeff Gardner, I wonder what he's talking with his defense now to try and see if they can't press Pleasant Grove up the court. Yeah, they're going to have to press a little bit. 
and take some risks uh, to, to try to just make Pleasant Grove do what they don't want to do, which is to slow the ball down, hold it, look for good shots. Five minutes to go here in the fourth. And Sky Ridge does respond by pressing high up the court. Tanner Hanks lobs it up, and there's the jam! What a pass, what a finish. That's now, what, three dunks for Pleasant Grove, two by Garrett, one by Hanks. This is, they, they've really uh, surprisingly dominated the paint for most of this game. 440 left to go here in the fourth. Back to an 11 point game. The largest lead for Pleasant Grove has been 12. Holland into the paint, left handed floater. No, gets his own rebound. Goes up strong and it's blocked by Garrett, but he gets it back. Carter tries it again. Yes! Just great individual effort there by Holland to stick with it. A great find, Carter. He's been on fire in the second half. That's his third three of the second half. 15 points now for Colby Carter. Adams back to Garrett and they will reset from out front. Four minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Matched up against Bailey. Got him off stride, tries it again. Kicks it inside, Hanks back out. Adams for three. No, up for the rebound. Garrett goes up again and lays it in. Garrett has played so well tonight against the bigger Bailey. He's played strong, he's played aggressive, he's finished well. Just a great, great play there by, by, uh, by Garrett. Carter again, kicks across court, Brockbank into the corner, Davis. Davis drives and a foul. With 3.24 left to go here in the fourth. A 10 point lead here for Pleasant Grove. Sky Ridge has not lost since December 27, 2021. And that inbound is stolen away there by Garrett. Drive to the paint, Adams again! He's just so under control, he's so smooth. He's never rushed. It's a great move and a great finish. What a night for McCain Adams. 27, Holland into the paint, no! Again, the rebound there by Michael Mitten to Adams. Fakes, drives, kicks it out. Hanks, back to Mitten, drives inside, kicks it back again, Adams. They'll just keep passing it around, and Adams can't score. And an offensive foul called against Tanner Hanks. That's great ball movement. They passed up multiple open threes to try to get layups. Uh, Adams had a, had a great look, just missed it. And kind of a silly foul by... Uh, by Hanks, but 2.47 to go. Skyridge is going to have to start hitting some shots. And they're going to need him quick. Two and three quarter minutes left to go here in the fourth. Bailey back to Snowdy. Lost control of it. Back to Carter. He'll try it again. And the rebound there by Mitten, or rather by Garrett. And you said it, Colton. We thought it was going to be Skyridge's advantage in the paint. It's all Pleasant Grove right now, down below the 15-foot line. And Garrett, is, he's played extremely well. Um, we know what Adams can do. We know what he's been doing all game. But to me, the difference in the game has really been Isaac Garrett. Uh, he's, he's dominated the, the boards. Uh, he's finished strong above the rim, at the rim. A couple dunks. And uh, for the most part, he's kind of shut down uh, Bailey for most of this game. Whoa. We are gonna be back with the finish here in just a second. We'll be back in a short bit. You're watching Sky Ridge Basketball on Game Night Live Rewind. Part of KSL Game Night Live Rewind's coverage of high school sports. Ouch, gonna need some pills for that one. Hey, prescription pain pills can be dangerous. Whoa, 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 easy there. You're her parent, not a drill sergeant. More love than they'll listen. Know your script. Talk to your kids about prescriptions the right way. Back here at Sky Ridge High School with 2.18 to go here in the fourth quarter. Alexander Tumalip and Colton Potter. Colton, I don't think this really lived up to what it was on the scoreboard, but as far as the stat sheet is concerned, this truly was something that has lived up to the hype so far. Yeah, Pleasant Grove's up by 12, but it really has been a closer game than that. 
been games of runs, uh, more runs towards Pleasant Grove. Um, Skyridge just hasn't hit enough shots to stay in the game. Uh, 12 points, a little over two minutes left. This is really uh, Pleasant Grove's game to lose. Let's see what Skyridge does to maybe try to force some turnovers uh, and cut the deficit here in the last two minutes. Yeah, that was what we were looking for in our keys to the game, remember? Skyridge had to go tit for tat with these Pleasant Grove shooters. They haven't done it so far, but here's a chance for Carter to show off. And that is something that cannot happen. Just a really lazy pass um, across the court from uh, Mitten, and uh, Carter made a nice play on the ball and able to get an easy layup. A 10-point gain now, whoa. Almost another steal there inside. Holland gets another one. And now the Falcons get on numbers. Holland drives in, count it, and the contact. What? This game is not over yet. What a play by Holland. He read that perfectly, got the steal, made a nice move, used, his, used the wrong hand, and drew the contact, able to finish, chance for a three-point play. Talk about a huge momentum swing, a minute 47 to go. And Holland with this free throw can make it a seven point game, which he does. You just knew it was gonna come down to this part of the game, Colton. Interesting decision by uh, Coach Gardner. He subbed out Bailey, uh, put a little more uh, quickness, speed, try to get some steals in the backcourt. Let's see what happens here. They do get it into the corner. Long three try. No good, and Mitten up for the rebound, can't finish. Has to get it out of the paint, goes back up again, and he's fouled with a minute 30 to go. It's a good play by Mitten there. He didn't need to go back up. Uh, kind of lucky he, got, he was able to draw the foul there. Uh, Skyridge with multiple opportunities to get rebounds, not able to corral it. Mitten calmly sinks that one as Bailey checks back in. Boy, we're standing right in front of that Sky Ridge student section. It's absolutely deafening in here. Mitten misses the second. 90 seconds. You still don't need to, to start jacking up threes yet. You're just trying to get good open looks. Whatever that is, a three, a two. Holland somehow gets out of there with it and a tie up and it will remain with, with Skyridge with a minute 16 to go. I mean, there were some missed heartbeats in that Skyridge bench there for Jeff Gardner. I mean, they're lucky they got that ball back. Yeah, really good hands by Pleasant Grove reaching in. Uh, let's see if they can get, Skyridge can get a quick look here. Carter, back to Brockbank, back to Carter again. They can't get a shot off yet. We're close to a minute now. They got to start going. Back to Holland. Can somebody shoot? He dribbles in, floats it up. No. Tipped it up. And it's grabbed there by Hanks. As we're under a minute to go. And now you got to think about fouling. Inside. Adams. Yes. That could be the dagger. Snowdy, no! Bailey, back up! Yes, and one! I think that's uh, Hank's fourth foul. Or fifth foul, excuse me. That's actually um, Garrett who uh, picked up the foul. The foul there you Garrett. go, yeah. That's uh, kind of a break there for Pleasant Grove. Bailey makes the free throw. And it's a three possession game with 35 and nine left to go here in the game. Again, uh, it's, it's kind of the same thing. This is Pleasant Grove's game to lose. With 35 seconds left, they got to take care of the ball and hit free throws. And don't, they're make, gonna... don't make passes you don't have to. They will. And they will foul here with 34 and, well, it's about synced up. So we'll say 34 and 5 as Skyridge has one more foul to give down by 7. And another foul with 33 and six left to go unofficially on our game clock, 33 and three. And that will put Michael Mitten at the line for the one and one. 
That's the fourth foul on Nick Holland. Yeah, but at this point, you're not you're not as much worried about about that. Obviously, you want Holland in the game. He's he's your best player, best passer, best shooter. Um, down by seven, one and one. Big free throws here. And Anderson calmly sinks that one to make it an eight-point game. Like to see seniors step up and knock down big free throws. And he misses the second. He goes one for two. Still some hope. Carter, pull up three. No. Rebound there by Mitten. They will throw it up. It is taken by Hanks with 21 and 18. Back out it comes. And with 10 gate and with 10 seconds left, it is over. 59-51. Pleasant Grove survives and they defeat Skyridge at home. And the Vikings in this epic tussle back and forth are in first place in Region 4 with a crucial 59-51 victory over the Falcons. Yeah, it was just a really great overall basketball game played by both teams. Uh, Pleasant Grove was able to control the paint. Uh, Adams, man, what a player. He was able to get to the rim at will, hit a lot of threes early in the game, and just kind of had control of the game. Isaac Garrett played a huge role in this game uh, on the glass, scoring at the rim, had a few nice dunks as well. McCain Adams finishes with 27 points as Pleasant Grove improves to 13 to 14 and 3. They are now 5 and they're now 4 and 0 in region play and Skyridge suffers their first loss since December 27th of last year. Yeah. Colton, this was a, you know, Randy McAllister said to us before the game, they're gonna treat this like another game. I don't think he understands right now how huge a win this is for Pleasant Grove. I'm sure, I'm sure they're gonna, they're gonna celebrate this one in the locker room as a big win, great team win, but, uh, it's still early in the season, lots of basketball to be played left, as he pointed out, not even halfway through the region schedule yet. And uh, both teams will have chances to, to bounce back uh, and uh, hopefully uh, they'll get to meet again. They will get to meet again, and that's the great thing about it. Sky Ridge will have a bye on Friday and they will have two non-conference games. Sky Ridge will host Corner Canyon on Friday. And if all goes to plan, for these Vikings, they could find themselves alone in first place if they defeat Corner Canyon on Friday. Yeah, it's uh, it'll be a, fun, a a good game, a good challenge, but I'm sure the coach McAllister will have uh, Pleasant Grove ready to, to respond after a big win. What a huge win this is for Pleasant Grove, and uh, now let's kind of put a bow on this for the Sky Ridge side. We kind of talked about it coming in, that they had to match these, gar these Vikings tit for tat their defense, the Vikings really did a great job of keeping them out of rhythm. And really, Sky Ridge, a place where they got a beat all night, was in the paint, surprisingly. Yeah, I thought that they would have an advantage there. Bailey, at times, uh, really took over in the paint, but uh, wasn't very consistent throughout the game. Holland uh, got off to the quick start, but struggled to get open. They played him well, uh, played him very well defensively. Um, and no one else besides really Colby Carter really was able to, to get open looks and hit shots for Sky Ridge, which is why the, the game ended the way it did. Colton, you said it, man. The game was much closer than it was on the scoreboard, and boy, was it fun to be here tonight. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Really good basketball. The atmosphere was electric. Both, both uh, fan bases showed out and supported their team, and overall just a really great game. It was a January game that felt like a March game, and we can't wait for the return leg in this one. That's going to wrap up our coverage here tonight from Sky Ridge High School. And uh, Colton, that was fun. That was a fun game, and your first one with me, and uh, let's not let time pass too much before we do another one. Absolutely, a lot of fun. I hope to do it again soon. We'd like to thank our men and women on the crew, 
We'd like to send our best wishes to Dusty Litster, our colleague. We wish she could have been here tonight. It was a really good one, but we were honored to do this game for him tonight. And we also like to thank Dane Stewart, our good friend, Vince Francis back in the studio. And of course, our good, our good cameraman, our friend Tino here on the podium with us. For all the men and women that bring this broadcast to you at home or online, wherever you are, for my broadcast partner, Colton Potter, I'm Alexander Tumalip. The following has been a presentation of KSL Game Night Live Rewind. This has been Sky Ridge Basketball on Game Night Live Rewind. Again, the final, the first place, Pleasant Grove Vikings 59 and the Sky Ridge Falcons 51.